Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mr. VP. Welcome back to the channel. Today what we have in our hands is the Battle Damage Albertosaurus from uh, Phase 2 of Mattel's Jurassic World figures. This thing looks pretty cool. Can't wait to uh, show it off to you guys. Basically, the Albertosaurus is a little-known dinosaur. It's from the Tyrannosauridae family, which means it is a cousin to the T-Rex. It is about half the size, weighs about two tons, and lived about 70 million years ago. I am very, very excited that Mattel made one of these. This has been one of those dinosaurs that you hear about, but you never really know what it looks like. This thing looks really cool. I love the coloration, and I love this figure. So, before we get to the unboxing, quick review of the packaging. So, very much like the Dino Rivals collection, this has that same uh, look to it, even though it doesn't say Dino Rivals anywhere. It has that nice, big, orangey, yellowy, red logo in the back. Very cool. In the top left corner, it shows the Jurassic World logo. Bottom left, we have a picture of Rexy, which is very nice. Very happy to see that uh, Owen, Grady, and Blue are off of the packaging, getting tired of seeing them everywhere. <laughs> uh, middle of the package, it says Albertosaurus, and bottom right corner, it says Battle Damage. And just to make it even more authentic, my version comes with actual damage to the packaging, uh, which is why I'm going to be unboxing this particular one. Uh, Top of the package, it shows the action feature. So for this dinosaur, it has battle damage. So you press this button in here and it releases this uh, in interior look, which looks pretty cool. And that's it for the front of the box. The side of the box, just the Jurassic World logo. Other side says battle damage. Bottom of the box, just some boring information like don't eat small parts. And back of the box shows a very nice image of the Albertosaurus just kind of chilling out. Also shows that you can activate the dino damage and you know, flip it down and it shows the ribs. And then you can also flip the ribs up to show the guts inside, which is pretty cool. Alright, that's it for the packaging. Let's take her out of the box and take a closer look. Alright, this should be pretty simple. We're just going to snip these ties here. One, two... And a couple more by the legs. Alright guys, well here she is outside of the packaging, and this is definitely a beautiful figure. I really like the coloration on it, and uh, the battle damage is very subtle. With these two little uh, scratch marks on this leg here, nothing on the other side, and then just that little uh, battle damage feature there. So, um, looks really, really cool. They don't overdo it, which is nice. And as always with Mattel's... Uh, two-legged figures it has really good balance it's not going to be falling over anytime soon now let's talk about articulation so we'll start in the back so with the tail this is on a uh, this is on a ball swivel so you can move it all the way around up or down side to side and it will stay put wherever you put it as we move forward to the legs the legs will rotate all the way around And then also they have a slight in and out motion as well. And while we're talking about the legs, let's go ahead and show that Jurassic World fax app code. Now there is a swiveling at the ankle. So you can do kind of wacky poses like that. Uh, moving forward to the arms, the arms can move inside and outside although it doesn't feel too great so maybe you're not supposed to do that and then you can move them around as much as the body will allow because the body gets in the way here 
Moving forward to the neck, the neck is on a uh, ball swivel so you can move it all the way around and then it has a motion that you can put it up, down, side or side and do pretty much anything in between. And then articulation on the jaw is very tight. I, I imagine it'll loosen up over time. Okay, so the paint apps on this figure are also really cool. This is another one of um, you know the figures where they do the contrasting colors, and I think it it pulls off really well here. So most of the figure is this nice olive green color and then as you move up to the head that's where you get all the rest of the coloration. So under the neck and the bottom jaw you have this nice like beige color, really sets it off, looks really cool. And then above the head there's this really nice maroonish like cranberry color that you know goes over the crest and all over these bumps here and that really makes this figure stand out goes all the way down to the snout as well. The eyes are this very cool orangey color with a nice black pupil in the middle. I gotta say this whole face reminds me of the Indominus Rex. I, I, I have to say that they probably used the Albertosaurus for reference when they made the Indominus Rex. I never really thought about it until I was just looking at it. This whole thing looks very much like the Irex. Very cool. Alright, so that's it for the uh, my thoughts on the figure outside of the packaging. Now let's do a couple comparisons. Oh yeah, before I get to that, let's talk about this battle damage piece. So basically to activate it, you just press on this little tab here, and it flips down, and then inside it reveals this very soft, rubbery, you know, midsection, like guts, and then you can also fold the ribs down. Those are spring-loaded as well. And if you touch those, they flip up just like the battle damage plate there. So a pretty cool little feature. Very interesting feeling, like a silicone. All right, let's do some comparisons. All right, so first up we have the JP-18 Jeep Wrangler with the working winch. And next up we'll do Owen Grady standing alongside her. Okay. Next up we'll do it with the Roravores Baryonyx. Then the action attack Sukomimus. And those are almost perfectly sized with each other. And lastly, we'll do her with their cousin, the Bite and Fight Tyrannosaurus Rex. And great size difference there. Interesting fact about the Albertosaurus, uh, especially versus the T-Rex. So if you look at the eyes, and Mattel has done a great job capturing this. So the eyes on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, they actually look forward even though they're kind of on the side of the head. The Albertosaurus's eyes look to the sides. So that is one of the key differences between these very, very similar dinosaurs. 
It's nice to see that Mattel captures those facts. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section below, are you planning on picking up the Albertosaurus? Uh, I, I think it's worth picking up. I really like theropods, and I pretty much pick up every single one that I can. And the fact that this figure is part of the Tyrannosauridae family, and it looks very similar to the Indominus Rex, means I was going to pick it up no matter what. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Please let me know in the comment section below also, what dinosaurs would you like me to compare all of my future dinosaurs to? I kind of just randomly pick them. Would you like to see me pick certain ones every single time to compare them to to be consistent? Uh, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.